Hello, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. Bitcoin is too volatile to replace gold. Well, that should be pretty obvious to most folks out there, but you'd be surprised. And we'll take a look in this and dive into it with this article here by Atif Suleiman uh, from the Independent.uk. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are, are too unstable to be substitutes for gold, the World Gold Council has declared. Some financial experts and commentators have claimed that digital currencies like Bitcoin could, like gold, become a safe investment in the future. But a new report from the World Gold Council argues that they are very different. Gold is less volatile than cryptocurrencies, and its purpose as an investment is much clearer, the report claimed. Well, mainly because it's more of a hedge than an investment. And some of this does seem obvious, and it should immediately raise flags for those of you who are Bitcoinites or Kryptonites, cryptocurrencyans, or whatever you call yourselves, um, because it's coming from the World Gold Council, so it's biased. But I think you'll find below the article that talks about it, other financial experts agree, at least for right now. In our view, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies more generally are not a substitute for gold, it said. Gold is a tried and tested effective investment tool in portfolios. It has been a source of, of returns rivaling that of the stock market over various time horizons. It has performed well during periods of inflation and has been a highly liquid established market and has acted as an important portfolio diversifier, exemplifying negative correlation to the market during downturns. And, and that's that statement alone that I think is why I don't consider it an investment. Um, and I also wouldn't compare it to the stock market either because, you know, um, it's when the stock market is, is down, typically gold is up and vice versa. But nonetheless, it's, uh, it's rivaling it, I think, in some cases because... In my opinion, the stock market is also very volatile, and uh, where gold is, tends to be a bit more stable. Um, Bitcoin's price, which skyrocketed in 2017, thanks largely to speculation, I would argue almost entirely due to speculation, seems to be driven by high return expectations. The cryptocurrency hit a record high when it passed 19850 bucks in mid-December, and then it tumbled rapidly, falling below $12,000 within days. Last I heard, it was $9,900 and some odd dollars, so under $10,000. I haven't checked it today. Um, its value has shifted unpredictably ever since with frequent wild drops and recoveries. Gold will remain a mainstream financial asset because it is less volatile than digital currencies, has more of a liquid market and well-understood role in an investment portfolio and trades is an established regula uh, in an established regulatory framework the world gold council added i will note in an established regulatory framework well we take part that language uh then you've got things like uh you know manipulation and and, and the like that come into play uh, some of us believe that there are forces and there are forces for sure that do come into play uh that we think are um, manipulating and driving the price down to take uh, you know, attention away from gold. And I'm probably some of these folks are probably glad that uh, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies have taken over because it seems like governments and other entities can take more control of a digital asset than something tangible and real. Bitcoin is facing a crackdown in numerous countries around the world with regulation. And this is an example here about how South Korea recently introduced new digital currency trading regulation, which sent Bitcoin's price plummeting. The UK, US, Germany, and France have hinted that they could take a similar stance. However, the World Gold Council said it believed cryptocurrency still may become an established part of the financial system. And that very well could be true. The sources of demand for gold are very different from cryptocurrencies. Gold has a 7,000-year history as an asset and long-standing role as money. It is owned by central banks as well as institutional and retail investors. Its organization's report continued. Yet it also has a large and diverse attraction um, 
as jewelry, which remains the largest source of demand, typically representing between 50% and 60% of annual demand over the past 20 years. Also, gold is a tangible good with real technical application. Gold is even used in computer chips that mine Bitcoin. That's right. And silver is too. In contrast, Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are designed to be used as tokens in electronic payment systems. These may have potentially useful characteristics. For now, however, the opportunities to spend Bitcoin are rather limited, and genuine transactions are quickly converted into fiat currencies due to Bitcoin's price volatility. That's for sure. Stripe recently announced it was ending support for payments made in Bitcoin. The company had hoped the cryptocurrency would become a universal decentralized substrate for online transactions, but it was now better suited to being an asset than being a means of exchange, and that there are fewer and fewer cases for which accepting or paying with Bitcoin makes sense because its value fluctuates so much. Another factor to consider is competition within cryptocurrencies themselves. There are currently over 1,400 cryptocurrencies available, and while Bitcoin is the largest by far, new technology could have devastating effects on the value and supply of any of the cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, and I agree with that. That's just a reality. Even the, the technology behind it, blockchain itself, is under threat. And I know certain, certain forks and certain other cryptos use variants of the blockchain and a more efficient version of block, blockchain. But as I mentioned in the past, there's something called Hashgraph, which is coming about, which will just blow blockchain out of the water. And what is coming on the heels of Hashgraph? So not only do you have competing... Um, cryptocurrencies themselves, but the technology behind uh, the, the, uh, the cryptocurrencies and other peer-to-peer -peer networking aspects are also to be considered. I've always said, and I've said in the past, and I'm not against cryptocurrencies and those who have made money on them or used them. I think it's uh, encouraged those, as long as you understand the risk, of it, it's always amazing to see that people have made so much money on them and have taken advantage of them and understand the technology. That's wonderful. But the uh, Bitcoin could be the new MySpace. Uh, in, in other words, it could just fl flounder and fall. When Facebook came along, it left MySpace in the dust. What will be the next MySpace? Will it be Litecoin? Could it be Ethereum? Could it be Dogecoin? Dash? Who knows? It could be anything that could come up. We shall see. Uh, let's see. These look, those looking for similarities between, between Bitcoin and gold can, of course, find them. The main difference between the two, however, lies in the volatility. And uh, that's uh, Carlo Alberto de Casa, chief analyst at online broker Activitrades, told The Independent. Gold is often seen as the most popular of the commodities because it is a safe haven. More practically, it is revered for its hedging, hedging properties. That's right. It's un... Its inelastic supply is just one reason why it remains resilient to external market shocks. Bitcoin behaves nothing like this. After an astonishing 2017, Bitcoin has sharply fallen in the last few six weeks, losing 50% of its value from its peak. However, Nikolai Stronotsky, the CEO of digital banking firm Revolut, sees a lot more promise in digital currencies. Cryptocurrency's volatility is partially driven by the huge demand, regulatory uncertainty, and the influx of new funds flowing into the market. Users want and are craving alternative investment opportunities, he said. Uh, globally, regulatory Regulators are, regulators are beginning to take action due to the huge growth in consumer demand. Many governments have or are rolling out regulatory frameworks. Check out Gibraltar's new regulations and the DLT framework as a recent example. And others are actively seeking partnerships, advice, and trailing new approaches. And not only that, but the other thing about cryptocurrencies we have to be careful of are other uh, types of... Uh, uh, vehicles that are popping up that could be potential scams or multi-level marketing schemes and BitConnect is one example received a message I think from Anthony G who talked about some ICOs are turning out to be scams and uh, you know and 
um, initial coin offerings. So be very careful out there and uh, always make sure to vet whatever organization, if you do make an investments in any of these cryptocurrencies or new coins that are out there, like penny stocks, you know, you got you to gotta be careful with them. Make sure they have white papers and things that uh, that are in detail that describe what they're doing and make sure you get um, vet them with other agencies and, and references and resources out there for sure. But nonetheless, very interesting article, sort of stating in a sense uh, sort of what we already knew, but I think it's uh, it should be noted and that there's only one gold, there's only one silver, and there's a lot of cryptocurrencies out there. And uh, so when it's all said and done, I think we can be confident in the precious metals that we hold. And if you are dabbling in the cryptos, uh, and uh, have never tried gold or silver, don't give up your cryptos, but just add a little gold and silver to the stack too, you know? might uh, You might be surprised. And the thing is, you can touch it, you can hold it, you can feel it, and you can, and you can admire the beautiful artwork that is on many of these pieces. There's a great selection of them out there for sure. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd like to extend a multitude of gratitude to y'all for watching and encourage you to please rate, comment, and subscribe.